Hey everyone, it's John Ozeas here from Automator, and we're going to show you how to avoid a simple mistake in using a for loop in AutoHotKey. And if you stick around to the end, we're going to help you learn how to avoid the pitfall overall. Maybe you might want to switch to version 2, maybe not, but we can turn on some stuff in version 1. Uh, exactly. This question came up because uh, one of the HK Hero people you know, just wrote us and had a little problem with Refidium. And so we, we just thought we'd go ahead and record a video and share it with everyone because it it's a pretty good topic overall. And it's something if you're new to objects, by the way, we, we have a whole course on objects, working with objects. In my intermediate course, we do much more in the for loop stuff. But uh, I hope you enjoy the video. It's, uh, I think it's you know, pretty, pretty tight and helpful. So what we're doing is the following. So let me go ahead and stop the script and explain what is going on. So basically, this is your code. You are going through the, so here we have a correct count of the videos. When you use a for loop, what happens is this is going to become an index number and this will become the element itself. It is actually dividing that for you. Inside the loop, you're using the V, the value variable, as if it was an array but that array doesn't exist because v is not an array is actually an element so you just have to remove this from there because v is the element itself as the, you loop over them it's each one separate right exactly so now you're looping over them separately and v is actually an element so i would say for each because i don't care about key uh -huh. anymore element in videos or video. Element. I mean, I would even say video for element. Whatever, like you said. Doesn't no, matter. well, videos. This is a is this is a group of videos, yeah, right? But so for each video in videos is what I'm. Oh saying. right, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. You can say for each video yeah. in videos, you can say video inner text. That's how I typically example. do it. To help right, exactly. What I have on that. You know. Exactly. This one is plural. This one is singular. And actually, you're getting each video by themselves. And you, what you're right. doing is just getting yeah. the inner of text course, of it. You could access a bunch of crap. Right, right. From that, you know, in that same right, use the brackets, you could use right, you know, not so now, <laughs> you know, whatever, right? It's there you go. So now you will be able to get the inner text of each of them because basically what is going on is just that you do not need to access a an array in here. You cannot say like each now because you know, now the point is here that auto hotkey is failing silently because you're trying to access an array that doesn't exist. This is something that in AutoHotKey version two, if I am trying to access something that doesn't exist, the text, let's just make this as uh, AutoHotKey version two. And if I try to access that, I would get an error. It is gonna say like, this error doesn't exist. People hate that. They, they say like, oh, why, why do you have to give me this error? Well, the reason why we have to have this error is because of issues how you, what you were experiencing. Right now, you're trying to access something that doesn't exist, but AutoHotKey didn't tell you anything about it. And you're saying, like, why does my code doesn't work? Yeah, because you're trying to access something that doesn't exist. Well, right. and, and what you also could have done was taking it out of the for loop and yeah. actually kind of hard-coded it for one value right. and so, said, wait a minute. Yes, we could definitely go ahead and say videos one dot inner text right. right you can do that yeah and instead yeah. of using a for loop you could actually just go ahead and use a loop a normal loop so loop so i could say loop videos dot count which is what you're doing up there right for 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 the whole thing right so i'm looping 30 times and for each of them i'm accessing the a index this should work too so right now if i go ahead and run that so let's go ahead and message box that. That should also work. In this case, videos is an array, right? So let me go ahead and verify. So we've got 30. And now for each array, so, so for each element in the array, I could get the inner text. This is what you were trying to do. When you do a for loop, the for loop actually divides that for you. So you don't have to use the index any longer. That's what is going on. So um, basically it's not 
a failure on your part. It is a failure of Auto Hotkey version one, not notifying that you're trying to access with, something that doesn't exist. If you That's have what to I would, turn on with that, is that what you turned on a minute ago? Or? Yes, I think, uh, well, I didn't turn it on. In Auto Hotkey version two, it is automatic, I'm but for example, one, if you yeah, turn on, it would- Right, so I, this should basically do the same thing in version one. So it would be like for um, each video in videos, then I would try to access something that doesn't exist, like video, um, uh, uh, each in this case, dot inner text. I should get um, any type of, you know, error when I'm trying that. So it says like, let me see, what is this? The variable, the, this local variable has this, no, that's okay, that's a normal. Okay, well, which was actually, I was going to say, was this is why most people turn it off. Is Turn it off because there's a lot of things that, yeah, there's a lot of things that you, you would be like, come on, what is, there's a lot of messages that have nothing to do with my code. But yeah, that that's the point of warning you. And there are a lot of weird things that you're doing I'm, that you didn't even know that is wrong. And crap if I'm wrong here, but can't you enable and disable certain warning levels? Isn't there um, some yes. parameters that you can change? Okay. Yes. So the warn... Um, I don't use it, but I, I remember like you can. Yes. Kind of, so basically, in version one, a little. <laughs> yes, you have some things that you can disable. There are some warning types and warning modes. So you can say like um, use and um, local setting as global. You can actually put it off, for example. So the off is one of the things. Um, unreachable class override. So I got one of the warnings saying like the class might be overreading. So I could just go ahead and say warn. And then, uh -huh. warn class overwrite and the mode is off. Don't warn me about that one, for example. So now, if I try to run it, I would get other things like this local variable has the same name as a global variable. Well, there's another one for that, which is um, local same as global. Well, I don't care about that one. So, so this, I, could, this... I could just definitely just go ahead and turn off uh -huh. some of them. Um, that I don't care about, but I want to know a right. specific one, which is when I try to hear when this variable has not been assigned a variable, uh, a value. So in this case, in the class, the JSON class has this issue. That's not with my code. That's not with my code either. Now, let me see. Hold on. This is WDM. Now, now it is running, right? So when I when my code tries to access this thing here, so now I have the count right now, right? Now let me see what happens when I try to access something that doesn't exist. Ah, oh, it still doesn't give you an error. You see that? So so again, right. uh, there's a way that Auto Hotkey version one is not telling you that that doesn't exist, but in my example here in version two. I am trying to access something that doesn't exist at all. And let me, do, let me, in this case, let me actually make V a string. Let's make it a string, which is something different, right? So it is assigned a string, but I'm trying to access it as an array. It will tell me this type called, this variable typed string does not have an index. You will see, you see, this value of type string has no property name item, which is the, I'm trying to access an item on it. I, I think initially the title of this said, Hey dummy. Um, <laughs> like, Hey, Hey dude. No, but the, the point is, um, these type of errors happen very often. The only thing is that version one doesn't actually notify you about it. And notice that even if I act, I, I turn on the warning, it doesn't actually tell me, it should tell me this variable of type element does not contain indexes it doesn't have items yeah. but it doesn't tell me that so that is an issue with version one that's the reason why lexicos is actually kind of like dumped version but technically that's how i would see it like he just yeah version one is not the way to go is version two cool. to avoid this type of things yeah. and how much do you get paid for everybody that adopts version two <laughs> <laughs> no, but basically, if you're a programmer, if you're doing very big uh, uh, programs, you will have this little issue come up in the r most random places. That's what happens. Yeah, yeah and, and anyway, I, I do think it's it's very helpful to have those warnings. I turn them up. But now I might actually borrow what you have there 
and throw that into my default script. That so I don't even have it in my script. It's in the other one, you know, that I have for my right. Script. Yeah, yeah, I understand. I'm debugging because yeah. I don't like the the other stuff. Like you said, like I don't want to be warned of those things. But some warnings, are, some warnings are very, very um, important. Um, but in this particular case, even if you turn on the the warning for version one, this particular mistake is not going to be right marked about. So you will no, still have that issue. Yeah, and and that's where what I was saying earlier was, hey, you you could have instead of using the for loop, try to play with it first outside of the loop to see if you're using yes. it right when you're troubleshooting. Right, just to say right. Am I doing that is a very good troubleshooting step right there. You just just do it outside of that. Do you still have your console window open for Chrome? For Chrome, um, no, here. Uh, so I, yeah, what I did was that I tried to get the. Um, L I, I actually outside of Auto Hotkey, which is what Joe is saying. You could do it inside Auto Hotkey in a outside of the loop, but actually here, what I did is that I went to Document Query Selector All. And I just used exactly the same as you had here. But let me let me switch something real quick on that, which is in the selection, I want to grab the spaces and convert them into dots. Right. Because that's me. now when I'm doing a query selector all in here. So now um, I need the dot at the first one too. Now I have the same amount of nodes that you have on your script, right? And then I went to one of the nodes and I said, hold on, let me grab the first node and see if it has an inner text because you were trying to access the inner text. And when I went to the inner text, oh yeah, it has it. So I was like, all right. So the first code is correct. You are targeting the right thing. It has an inner text. There was... There was a yeah. chance, it, like it had a value instead of an inner text, right? And if right, it exactly. Yeah, an element that doesn't exist, you would have had right. an error. So we first said, let's make sure there's something there, right? And right. <laughs> one of the things that I've learned is like, hey, if you can step into the environment where the real stuff is and play with it there, then you you don't have to worry about your auto hotkey code. You're actually right. verifying the thing exists, right? Cause right, exactly. Sometimes you spend hours and then you realize later, like it's not your code at all. The thing doesn't it's, have it, that. Yeah, it's the thing that doesn't have that. But being genital, I think um, this is a very good uh, point to make for people who are coding in ver version one. Um, you might have these kind of errors. You don't know what it is. Well, it is because auto hotkey is not warning you about an error on how you're trying to access the information. That's all. Cool. All right. Well, thanks, man. Bye. Bye.